Welcome back to our series on Mastering View Application Architecture. In the previous video, we discussed the importance of managing complexity and introduced the infrastructure layer. In this video, we'll dive into the API client layer and explore how isolating API interactions can simplify your view applications. Why should we define and isolate the API client as a separate layer? The main reason is to reduce complexity caused by tight coupling. When UI components are directly tied to specific API details like endpoints or error codes, it can make the components unnecessarily complex and harder to maintain. The tight coupling also makes it difficult to adapt to changes in the API without affecting the UI. Let's consider an example where we directly call an API from a view component. At first glance, this seems straightforward. However, this component now depends on the specific API endpoint, the structure of the API response, how errors are handled from the API. If the API changes, we have to modify this component. Multiply this by dozens of components and maintenance becomes a nightmare. To solve this, we can isolate all API interactions into a separate layer, the API client layer. This way, UI components only deal with data models and not the specifics of API calls. Let's create a function to fetch user data. In this example, we use an HTTP client from our infra layer. We define get user by ID to fetch user data. We map the API response to a user model. We handle errors in a centralized way. Now our component becomes much cleaner. The component no longer cares about API endpoints or response formats. It simply calls a function and gets a user object. The benefits of this are reduced complexity. UI components are simpler and focus only on rendering data. Easier maintenance. Changes in API endpoints or response formats require updates only in the API client layer. Consistency. By mapping API responses to internal models, you ensure consistent data structures throughout your application. Centralized error handling. You can handle API errors in one place providing a better user experience. Sometimes different APIs return data in various formats. Let's say we have another API for fetching followers. Here we're mapping different API fields to our internal user model, ensuring that regardless of the API, our components receive data in a consistent format. By translating external API models into internal models, the API client layer acts as an anti-corruption layer. It prevents external changes from corrupting your application's internal logic. It's important to handle API errors gracefully. By centralizing error handling, your UI components remain clean and focused. Using an API layer simplifies UI components, centralizes API interactions and error handling, makes your application more resilient to API changes. It also, on the other end, requires additional effort to set up can introduce slight overhead in maintaining mapping functions. By isolating the API client layer, we reduce the complexity in our view components, making them easier to read, maintain, and test. This approach allows us to adapt quickly to changes in APIs without overhauling our entire code base. In our next video, we'll explore the domain layer, where we'll handle business logic and service policies outside of the UI components. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next part. Be seeing you in the next one.